Hello and welcome to Lizzie Reviewing Yowie. I'm going to start today with one of the first ones I ever saw and also one of the first Yowie animes ever to be made and the first ever Yowie Shonenai manga to ever be written and that is Kaze Tokina no Uta or The Song of Wind and Trees, sometimes called The Poem of Wind and Trees. I mean, this was quite a phenomenal title and very prestigious back in the day. It won a lot of awards. But most importantly was the fact that it was one of the first ever Shonai Yaoi pieces of work out there. It was first created in 1976, ran for 17 volumes, and then they made an hour-long anime feature out of it in 1987. And at the time when it was written, the manga car was kind of bored of shoujo stories always being about girls and their romances and decided to see what happens if they change one of the protagonists into another male and it was a love story between two boys. It also targeted a lot of other kind of really like sensitive kind of like coming of age subject matter such as racism, paedophilia, drug abuse in the manga. The anime doesn't go through the full story of it. It kind of concentrates more of their early days and then you have to like read on, read the manga to find out kind of how it plays out past this. But still, it's an absolutely beautiful film. I've always had a lot of heart for this. I remember when I was in Kyoto and they had an exhibition of some of the artwork in the Kyoto Manga Museum. And it was so lovely to see it there. And yeah, it was just a phenomenal shoujo title and was something that I absolutely fell in love with. So the story follows Sergei as an adult as he returns to this prestigious academy, very Catholic school, traditional beliefs, boarding school for boys. And he has come back to relive the memories he had of the past and to kind of find some closure to what happened to him and the love affair that he had with the young boy he meets there. So he walks over the grounds, reminiscing of the school system, strict policies, lessons with his friends, until eventually he comes to the room that he shared with Gilbert. As he opens the door, he sees a, vis a visage of almost of a ghost of young Gilbert as he remembers him sitting in the window, looking beautiful and serene. And Sergei is filled with such kind of love and devotion and adoration for this boy as he just looks at him and runs towards this ghost figure so happy to see Gilbert again and this is where the story goes into the flashback of how these two boys met their relationship and how they grew to kind of like love each other I mean, it's a very tragic tale. It's all about Sergei's innocence and his desire to do the right thing, to protect his friends, to make sure Gilbert isn't like succumbing to what he sees as like destructive tendencies and to kind of like try and change him essentially. Un like Gilbert, who is very much a tragic figure, absolutely beautiful boy, trapped in a situation and manipulated so much that he doesn't really see how tragic his behaviour is, what he's doing to himself and what he's doing to Sergei, until Sergei can kind of like almost rescue him from the prison he's like built around himself. So we get their first encounter and Sergei is not quite sure what to make as this beautiful boy kind of stumbles into his room, looks like he's about to kiss him, starts choking him. And Sergei's like, what is this? What is going on? I must help him. And this is where you first see like Sergei is such an innocent, naive boy who just wants to do the best for his roommate and respect him. But unfortunately, Gilbert is not the kind of boy that takes help easily. He's not used to kind of positive affirmation, positive touch, people caring him, and just thinks that Sergei is trying to push him to do things he doesn't want to. And really, he just wants him to take his medicine, rest well, like put his body at ease. Gilbert, on the other hand, rather do things like use his very attractive, his very feminine body to seduce other male students to get them like to fulfill his demands. He doesn't like the fact that there's this beautiful and loving soul sharing a room with him. He doesn't like the fact that Gilbert is trying to look after him, trying to be positive of him and trying to make him stop 
doing the things that he's doing. So he essentially seduces one of his upperclassmen, Dren, in the hopes that, like... Dren will beat up Sergei, get him kicked out of the dorm, get rid of him, so go go back to having his own space and pretty much using it to flaunt his body and just like use sex as his own weapon. And he promises Dren that if he does manage to get rid of Gilbert, no, does manage to get rid of Sergei, then he'll have sex with him. So it plays out that like Sergei comes home one day and he finds he he goes to bed and he is knocked out out of conscious and by Dren and then Dren goes on right Gilbert I've done what I am I'm about to beat him up and chuck him in the woods now will you have sex with me and Gilbert was actually no I was never planning on having sex with you I don't want to and in all of this Sergei wakes up to kind of see this like attempted like abuse and and rape and it's just like just get out just get out and he stands his ground and so many characters know what goes on in this room and Gilbert and his sexual encounters and the fact that he's gay and he's sleeping with other men and they're like oh it's happening oh but they were so surprised at the fact that someone actually stood up to the situation and actually forced someone to leave the room and go on and do something else and to be seen leaving the room and to be kicked out and Sergei is just like no I don't I don't want this going on in front of my eyes I don't care what you do but not in front of me you should be taking better care of yourself um once like Dren is kicked out he like saps Gilbert and Gilbert says shot because he's just like wait a minute that wasn't exactly how I wanted to see it okay but I suppose I'm used to being roughed up a bit and then he redresses him gives him some medicine forces him goes back to bed and you can see that Gilbert is just not quite used to this situation, but also all this frustration, all this fear in Sergei causes him to break down and cry because he, it was just a situation that he never expected to be part of and it's kind of traumatised him a bit. But he says from that day onwards, Gilbert starts to act differently. He starts to actually attend classes, do his work, be seen in public, but he still hasn't quite, like, you know, given up on that lifestyle of being a flirt, a bit of a sexual predator, and he still, like, takes any opportunity to kind of try and get Gilbert to drop his guard. No, he takes any opportunity to try and get Sergei to drop his guard and fall prey to him and like play along and be manipulated by him and Sergei's having none of it and Gilbert is just shot by this person who keeps telling him no some of his other friends are shot by this person that's telling him no um so his friends and the other children in the class decide well the best ba- way to behave is to just bully Gilbert some more try and get him to pick up like burning conquers and hurt himself and so goes the other side is like no no this is not right just because I don't want to be seduced by him and just because I want us all to be friends doesn't mean that you could now kind of torture and bully him and this upsets like Gilbert because he doesn't like people telling him what to do and he's just not used to people standing up for him and it and it means that Sergei's just like I was trying to help you out and there's just so many misunderstandings and and a lot of the story is just like the the misunderstandings between these two boys. The fact that Sergei is just innocent and is slowly coming to realise that his need to protect Gilbert, his need to keep him safe and try and keep him from sleeping with other guys and using his body as a weapon and getting himself like beaten up and quite sexually abused by some of these boys is just like, this innocent wish and he never actually kind of like asked Gilbert how he feels about it and why he does the things he does and obviously Gilbert comes from a very traumatizing background when we finally meet August his uncle and you see for the first time how absolutely madly in love Gilbert is with his uncle and how truly happy he is to have received a letter from him and he just thinks it's the greatest thing in the world and you're like oh goodness this boy really really does love August and August in the letter says oh I'm not coming for Christmas I'm not going to be there for you I'm going to see you again in spring meanwhile August is literally sitting in the school watching Gilbert from the window but he's totally telling him he's not going to be there 
And you hear Olga say that Gilbert is his. He has been manipulating him, training him and turning him in to the perfect, most beautiful creature. And the only way for Gilbert to be so beautiful and to shine so wonderfully is through pain. And he has managed to abuse this child so much that there is a very thin line between pleasure and pain. And he's just messed up Gilbert to such a degree that Gilbert doesn't know the lines between pleasure and pain. He thinks being hurt is a way of feeling close and connected to someone. He's so traumatised by the fact that he's not going to see the love of his life in August that he runs through the snow, almost catching hypothermia. He meets up with his ex-boyfriend that he was flirting again with just to kind of make Sergei like jealous or to interact with him. And he asks him to like have sex with him outside, but he wants to be held, he wants to be crushed, he wants to be bruised, he wants to be broken and battered. And it's such kind of like a negative experience, this love that he has for August. He's trying to recapture what he's missing by August not being there for him. And it's clearly not a healthy or nice love that the two share. It's an uncle manipulating this poor boy into believing that pleasure and pain are the same. And that the more pain and the more heartbreak Gilbert goes on to, the more beautiful he'll be and the more pleasure he'll experience from being reunited with August all over again. At the same time, like Sergei is coming to terms with the fact that he does find Gilbert attractive. He does love him. He does want to protect him. And he he just doesn't know what to do about this. And when Gilbert finally does push him into like kissing him, he succumbs and he's like, oh, my goodness, no, kissing him is beautiful. And I, I really wanted to do this. And then he's like so shocked by his own emotions that he's just doesn't quite know what to do of himself because he's still quite innocent. And when his friends are saying, why do you want to be around Gilbert? He's just like a dirty, dirty little gay. And the thing Sergei hates the most is the fact that they called Gilbert dirty. And he's like, he's not dirty. Aren't all men dirty? It's just like, he's not like that. And it's just like, it takes him a while to kind of realise just how much he does love Gilbert but also how much he doesn't understand Gilbert's situation or his backstory and of course this just obviously leads to more tragedy because after Gilbert's lack of encounter with August after trying to get himself re-abused by his ex-boyfriend he is just sitting in the room looking like he's half frozen to death and he just wants to be held. He wants a positive experience. He just, he needs contact and he's got such an unhealthy relationship with contact that Sergei's like, I'm not going to sleep with you. I'm not sleeping with you just so that you can like fill this void in you. There's more to being close and intimate with someone. and But he does agree that he'll sleep in the same bed with him to keep him warm. And this goes into this beautiful sequence of the two boys lying together and Sergei admitting that their bodies fit so perfectly together. He's so warm. Their hearts beat together. And this is done using actual kind of like drawn beautiful pictures from the manga as and oh it's stunning it has to be seen it's like the traditional art and the manga and it's all beautifully like rendered with like the snip the snow is falling and they are being drawn in such like loving right and it's not about the sex it's about finally the two of them having a moment of inter intimacy and a real contact that you can like you can get you don't have to have sex with someone to feel close to them and that they really just want to be around each other and unfortunately it kind of like because it doesn't go full into what happens with the rest of the anime but unfortunately you get this voiceover also from Sergei about how oh if only he'd known if only he'd knew what he knew now then and that the shadow cast by Gilbert's uncle was still hide, holding over him and that while he was feeling like he gets um, offered to be taught piano by the same guy who taught his father piano and he himself is a bit of a prodigy when it comes to the piano and he's in this amazing state of just joy and so while Gilbert's feeling like the biggest low and the wanting his body to be destroyed because he cannot be with who he thinks he's in love with but it's really just a manipulation on the uncle's part 
and he just wants he just doesn't know what he's doing where he's coming from and he wants contact but he wants to be abused and he's at his lowest and there's Sergei who's at his best because he's like oh my goodness my skills have been like recognized I'm going to go on further and do something amazing and it's and he just wants to like share that with Gilbert and he wants to stay with him but as they lie in the bed thinking about what this connection means to both of them you get a little bit of a brief flash of what happens in the actual manga and the fact is despite like the love they started to feel for each other the shadow of abuse cast over Gilbert just he could never escape that past and eventually Gilbert walks in front of a carriage thinking he's seen his uncle and he gets run over and dies which causes Sergei to be inconsolable about the loss of his love so it is a very tragic like story it doesn't have the happy ending but at the same time it's it's it is a beautiful story it's wonderfully animated like Gilbert is drawn so his art style is so gorgeous this beautiful boy and that scene of them connecting and being intimate without sex using the art style and the stills from the manga is really lovely and this one is a must watch it's I would love to read the manga fully but it never got translated into English um, and I know it has some really like harsh like kind of story beats to it but at the same time it's it was one of the first it was gorgeously crafted and I really love it and I think it's definitely like worth seeing I think it I think it holds up well and it's it's nice to see that where the genre started and where some of the kind of like tropes came from and the Ari genre and the Shonai genre have changed significantly over the years but this was its starting point so I definitely think it is worth checking out. And that is all for me. So for now, I'm just going to say bye-bye.